Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I will teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8. This will be a very basic introduction to hair simulations in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. This tutorial was brought to you by Audible and Audible offers my viewers a free audiobook if you sign up with the link below. And you can also check out my website to see my top 5 picks for audiobooks on animation and design. By signing up, you support the channel and you get a free audiobook. And before we begin the tutorial, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8. The link is in the description. Okay, so click X to delete the default cube. And then go to Add. Then Mesh. And then add a UV sphere. And then we need to go to the front view. So click Numbat 1 to go to the front view. And then uh, let's switch to uh, Wireframe and uh, then also switch to edit mode. And then click uh, A two times to deselect everything, and then click B to box select. And then click X and delete the faces. And this is going to be the hair emitter for the hair simulation. So let's go back to the object mode. And then we need to add some modifiers as well. So let's go back to uh, the solid view, and then the modifiers, and then add modifier. And let's add the subdivision surface modifier, which adds additional polygons. And then set the subdivisions to three, and then apply the modifier. And as you can tell, we're not going to focus on the hairline in this tutorial. We're only going to focus on the hair simulation itself. So let's go into the particles, and I click new to add a new particle system. And then let's uh, switch to hair. And then let's enable advanced so that we get uh, more options. And then let's set the hair length to 1.5 to decrease the length of the hair. And then let's go into velocity and then set the randomized value to 0.1 to randomize the length of the hair. And uh, then let's go down to physics. And then let's set the browning value to 0.2, which uh, randomizes the movement of the hair in the uh, simulation. The next step is to increase the hair resolution. So let's set the uh, render steps value to 7, and then do the same for the viewport. And as you can see, the hair is now higher resolution. And then we need to go down to children to add uh, children hair particles. So uh, set it to interpolated, and then you can increase the render amount as well. So I'm going to set it to 250 for now. I will change it later, but uh, let's see how it looks. And then set the clumping value to 0.45, which uh, clumps the hair particles together. There are many types of hair in Blender, and they're called uh, kink types. And for this tutorial, I'm going to choose curly hair. So let's set the kink type to a curl. And then let's set the amplitude value to 0.1, which is the offset. And then let's set the flatness value to 0.6, which is uh, how flat the hairs are. And then I'm going to set the frequency value to uh, 10. You don't really have to understand what these uh, values mean, so just experiment with the different values and uh, get the result you want. Okay, so now we have the uh, curly hair and uh, now it's time to import the uh, model that you saw in the final render. So uh, let's go to file first and create a save. So file, save as, and then give the file a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. I'm just going to go to toot and I click enter to save. And then go to file, and then import, and then import the .obg file. And then you can download the uh, file for free in the link in the description. So I just import the file and then unzip the file. And then go back to Blender and select the uh, file. And then import obg. And uh, once the object is inside Blender, we can uh, grab it. So click G to uh, grab. And I click S to scale. And I click G, then set to grab the object on the Z axis. And uh, let's go into wireframe view to uh, see what it looks like inside. And I click G to grab. And then S to scale the object down. G to grab again. Let's go to the front view. Might need to scale it up a little bit. 
and then uh, G then set to grab the object on the set axis. Now this is a very basic hair setup. If you want a more complicated hair setup with a proper hairline, you need to add the hair to the object directly. But that's way more complicated and in this tutorial I'm only going to focus on the hair simulation itself as I said in the beginning. Okay, so uh, let's set the object parent to the hair. So hold and shift, then select the hair, and then click Control P, and then set parent to object, to set the object parent to the hair. Now, before we get into the hair simulation, we need to set up the light and render. So select the light source, change it into a sun, and then the next step is to go into the render settings, because right now we, we're in EV, which is not good for hair simulations. So let's change the render engine to uh, cycles, and then let's set the sampling value to 150, both for the render and the viewport. And if you have a GPU, make sure to set the tile size to 500. If you only have a CPU, leave them at 64. And uh, make sure to use the GPU device if you have one. If not, it's just going to be a bit slower. Next, we need to use nodes and set the strength to 5 for the sun. And then let's uh, go to rendered view. And as you can see, we have the sun. Now click G to grab the sun and R to rotate the sun. And uh, then we're going to change the background. So let's make it a bit darker. Let's uh, make it almost completely black. You can also change the sun rotation on the set axis. So click R, then set to rotate the sun on the set axis. So I'm just going to find a rotation that I like. So something like this with the uh, shade on the uh, left side. And then let's select the hair. So I uh, select the hair, go into the materials and I click new to add a new material. And then let's set the surface type to uh, diffuse. Now, what color you choose for here is obviously uh, up to you. So just uh, select a color you like. I'm going to uh, add a blue color to the hair and make it a bit lighter. And let's select the body as well and uh, set it to diffuse and uh, decrease the roughness. Let's set the roughness to zero. Now, the next step of this tutorial is to uh, create the hair simulation. So let's select the hair and then go into the hair particles. And before we continue, let's just uh, create a new save in case something crashes. So save as, click on the plus sign, and then click save as Blender file. And then we need to animate the hair before we set up the hair simulation itself. So select the hair, then click N. And then we need to animate the location. So let's go into solid view, and uh, let's go to frame 30. And I click I and I to keyframe the location and the rotation. And then let's move forward in time to uh, frame uh, 70. And I click G and then X to grab the object on the uh, X axis. And then make sure to keyframe the location first and then the rotation. So click I to keyframe. And then let's move forward in time to frame uh, 100. And then click R, then set to rotate the object on the set axis. And since we rotate it, we need to keyframe the rotation first and then the location. So click I and I. And then let's move forward in time. Let's rotate it to the right side. So click R, then set to rotate it on the set axis. And once again, we need to keyframe the rotation first. So click I and I. And then let's set the set rotation value to zero. So zero and I click I and I to keyframe once again. And then at the end let's set the uh, X location value to zero. And now we need to uh, keyframe the location first and then the rotation. Okay, so as you can see we have the basic animation and now we need to enable hair dynamics. So enable hair dynamics for the simulation. And then let's set the quality steps to 40 to increase the quality of the simulation. 
And since this is curly hair, we need to go to structure and increase the stiffness value for the hair. So let's set it to five for now. We might change it later. And uh, then let's go to cache to calculate the animation. And before we calculate, make sure to go to file, save as, and create a new file. So click on the plus sign and save as Blender file. Now I decided to set it to three instead because uh, five was a bit too stiff. And then let's bake the animation. So click bake. And after a few minutes of baking, you have the full hair simulation. So let's move on the timeline to see what it looks like. And as you can see, it works. So that's a very basic hair simulation. So uh, let's set up the camera. So click numpad zero to look through the camera. And then uh, lock the camera to view. Then let's move a bit backwards and uh, make sure everything is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation, at least the hair. Now let's go into rendered view and take a look at the hair. And uh, let's move on the timeline as well. And the hair is already kind of thick, so we don't really need a lot of uh, children. So uh, let's change the children value to 30 for the render instead of uh, 250 because uh, that's more than enough and then let's make a uh, test render so uh, let's hide the overlay and uh, then go to render display mode let's set it to image editor and then render image and after a few minutes of rendering this is the uh, final image and I think it looks great so uh, let's continue on with the tutorial Let's go back to a 3D view. And then I'm going to change the color slightly. So a bit more blue and a bit darker. And then let's go into the output settings. So uh, let's start off by changing the frame rate to 30 FPS. And then let's uh, select an output folder. So uh, just uh, create a folder wherever you want on the computer. I'm just going to use the TMP folder and then create a new folder. Okay, so let's call it here 2.8 PNGs. And I click enter and then select the uh, folder and then give the animation a name. And I click enter and uh, then let's uh, set the compression to 15% and uh, let's render the animation. So go to render and then render animation. And after a few hours, you will have the whole animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.